evacuation, uh, evacuations from urban areas just for the sake of it. What's it actually like as you see it on the ground right now? So from uh, our point of view, the situation is the following. The Russians failed to fulfill their strategy. The strategy of Blitzkrieg, of taking over the city of Kiev, the city of Kharkiv and other cities in Ukraine in a very short period of time. They failed to do so because of the fierce resistance on behalf of the Ukrainian army and the Ukrainian population in general. So now completely unable to enforce any strategy militarily, they are uh, residing to what they can do is threatening the civilian population. And they're getting more and more cruel by hour. Like those things that the whole world has, uh, has witnessed of them blowing up their evacuation corridors with children dead after that. That is just unbelievable. It's extremely scary. It's extremely, it's, it's incomprehensible how anyone can do that. We now know for sure that the Russian command has given orders to the Russian soldiers to shoot at civilians. That is the decision of the Russian military command right now, because they cannot fight against Ukrainian army. Because the Ukrainian army, after eight years of war against Russians in Donbass, is so much better prepared, it is so, so much better motivated, and they are pushing Russians on the ground. And for the past two days, Russians didn't gain any ground in Ukraine. They were actually pushed further from the city of Kharkiv in eastern Ukraine, and uh, they are not able to enter the city of Mykolaiv, no matter how hard they try in the south of Ukraine. The situation in Kiev is extremely tense. They are really, really close to the city, but they cannot get any closer than they got like five days ago. So they're continuing the fightings in the neighboring cities of Irpin, basically executing population there. It's, it's, it's painful for me to see what is happening there. There are children dead, uh, wounded. Uh, they have blown up a hospital and, and it's unbelievable. But this cruelty is happening, I believe, because they cannot fulfill their military strategy, which is the result of the strength and resilience of the Ukrainian army and the Ukrainian people. So this is how the situation looks. And, and we are extremely happy about the news that you just announced about the, uh, the jets. That is something we needed so badly because the Russians, uh, they can't fight Ukrainian army on the ground, but they can continue throwing bombs on our heads. And that, was the, the, that is the scariest part. So we do hope to fight that.